Hi everyone and welcome back to the Button Editor. So as promised, I am going to do some reviews of some pattern making programs that I found around the internet. So it's actually going to be in two parts. Um, part one is really going to be um, the ones that I found on the inter that are internet based programs. Um, part two are really going to be the programs that download to your computer and then you can explore um, the pattern. So uh, the project that I decided to kind of experiment with are the coasters that I'm going to be making. I just just started um, with the coasters. So um, it's going to be like a pentagram program uh, pattern. So it's a pretty small one, but it helped me to kind of evaluate the programs. Uh, so like I said before, this first one is going to be all about the internet one. So this may run a little bit longer than usual. Um, so the first one that I found was called Stitch Fiddle. Um, it was actually quite interesting. Um, most of these internet ones are in general free, which is a good plus. Um, but also, the pattern that, that you make um, actually go to your email, which is actually pretty cool. It's pretty easy to use and pretty self-explanatory. It took me a little while to kind of get used to it and get my bearings on it, but after I found out how to use it, I was very happy with it, so um, after a little while it came, kind of came naturally. Um, it does have a demo version, which is, I kind of like just because before you put money into something, it's kind of nice to try it out before you kind of blindly go into anything and just spend money on it. Um, what I liked, it's a little thing, but it kind of is very helpful, is that it has an undo and redo button um, in case you make a mistake. Um, um, and one of the other programs that I experimented with, um, I made a mistake, couldn't undo it, it was a big one, but I'll go into that later once I got onto the other one. Um, so going into the cons, one is that it's internet based. So it's cool that you can access it on the internet, but if you lose internet connection for any reason, I'm not quite sure how it will actually last, if you will lose everything. Um, there's no really kind of saving midpoint. It's just like once you're done, you can send it to yourself. So, so that's another uh, con that I found was there's no kind of stopping in the middle um, and saving, then continuing on at a later point. Um, so, but also one of the things that I didn't like was the fact that the demo version, at least, you couldn't make notes for yourself. Um, so this is um, all these programs is a uh, more visual. So you'll pick a color, pick your size, and kind of go from there. If you want to make any notes, you can't really do that in this version. So it's kind of very limiting in that. Um, with me, you know, I make the visual re uh, representation first, then I will go in and kind of write out a pattern if I want to write out a pattern. I like to do that like side by side. It's a little bit easier for me. Um, so the premium, um, there is a premium version um, from what I could tell that's when you can do the written uh, version. So it was a, um, it was a good program, but um, I wasn't overall impressed with it. Um, if you want to check it out, I will put all the links to all these sites in the description be uh, below. So if you want to check it out for yourselves, you can. Um, so the next one that I sat down and played with was uh, Chartminder. So again, internet version. There's a demo version, which I think is a pro. It's nice to kind of see before you actually um, buy something, if you can try it out. Um, what I liked uh, about this one is that not only could you do colors, but you could do uh, stitch types. So uh, if you're doing if you're doing something doing besides like Fair Isle or something like that, where it's just based, based on colors, um, it had a, little, a lot of varieties in terms of stitch types. So that way you can increase, decrease, knit, purl, all, all the whole shebang. So it had a pretty good variety of that. Um, the controls for this one were a little bit chunk, like chunky and hard to get used to. Um, it was a little bit weird. It wasn't as intuitive as Stitch Fiddle was, so I didn't really like it as much. Um, it was very harder to, much harder to kind of get used to. Um, and uh, speaking of controls, this is actually where I kind of uh, messed up was I accidentally went to hit like I think I hit new or something and it kind of deleted my entire pattern 
or I um, made it all white for one reason or another, and it just everything got wiped clean, and I could, there was no back button, so I was kind of upset um, about that, you know, um, because if you're spending the time and effort to make a pattern, and all of a sudden it goes away for whatever reason, um, there wasn't really a safe point or an undo button, um, so I was kind of a little upset about that. I wish for it. Um, it's the little things that can make or break, so I wasn't really um, impressed with this as I was with Stitch, but um, it was definitely the better program. The third program, actually, that I found, but when I went to it, it wasn't working at the time of, um, at the, time of the recording. Um, so hopefully I'm going to go back to that maybe a little bit later. Hopefully they'll get that back up because I kind of want to uh, take a look at that and see how it works. Um, the last one that I really looked in the category of internet programs and st uh, chart making was Net, uh, a program called NetPro. Um, so I thought it was pretty nifty. It's um, with this program instead of um, actually like kind of making a pattern, you upload a picture. That's your only option. So which is pretty cool. If you have like something in mind, you can just upload the picture and it'll spit out. Um, you can choose a couple of different forms. I think it's like knitting, cross stitch, and crochet that you can choose from, and like three or four different sizes, pan, uh, portrait or landscape, and it will spit out a diagram for you, which I thought was pretty cool. I think it's a good starting place, um, especially if you don't want to spend the time and effort into really making your own. Um, if you can find a picture, or if you have a picture, you can upload it. It'll give you a chart, and you can kind of... Um, go from there or play with that and kind of um, a good starting part so and again it is free so that way um, you know free is good if you're just starting out um, I think I definitely have used this program in the past one um, past patterns um, so the there are a couple different con, uh, cons to this um, your only choice is as much as I liked it you can only up load a picture so you can't just have a blank sheet and kind of do it yourself um, there's no do it yourself um, in terms of making a pattern or making a design um, and also once they spit out a picture a pattern for you there's no editing so if you wanted to clean up edges or make it a different color or anything like that there was no real editing um, which kind of bugged me because I feel like that would be make this program a lot better is if you knew, knew or you had a place to start and you just could add on to it. That would be awesome. Um, so, kind of a drawback. But also the last kind of, the last con was really you do only have a couple different options. So in terms of when I hit knitting, it only gave me like three different sizes. So like there, and it was like small, medium, large. You know, there was no extra large or small or medium is it was really kind of limiting in terms of the sizes in case you wanted to make something larger or smaller than what they had um, is kind of out of luck on that so but I feel like NetPro was a good start in case you wanted to just upload a picture and Stitch Fitter was a good uh, part if you really wanted to do um, your own patterns so I think those were the ones that really stu stood out to me about the, the internet programs. So again, I will put all the links in, in the description below, so that way you can take a look and decide for yourself. But also I will be uploading, um, I did record myself uh, doing uh, using all these pro uh, programs, so I will upload that too so you guys can take a look. Um, I might make it, I might just have it like sped up, but um, I might just upload the entire video in, in real time because it is a 40 minute video so I don't know if you guys want to watch that. Let me know in the comments below. Anywho, next week we will talk about the downloadable programs and what I liked about which one really won. So anyway, I will see you next week. Bye.